Why is that red or pink? Is that trying to tell us something? I got copy rotation. Oh, that's what it was trying to tell us. Oh, oh and it killed us too. Oh no. Welcome back, everybody, to 70s Die on Alpha 20. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to uh, start taking steps to getting our horde base ready for Horde 7. Before we get started, though, if you'd like to be a member of the awesome old guy gaming community, you can find the link to the Discord down in the video description and also in the About section of the YouTube channel. Uh, be aware that I do live stream a few times a week, and if you join up on the Discord, you can see... Uh, when that'll occur, because I do announce it on the Discord. And finally, if you find yourself enjoying this episode, please take... <coughs> excuse me. Goodness gracious. Please take the time uh, to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Okay, let's get started. So, uh, what we're going to do today is... Oh, first of all, I want to show you that I did, in fact, uh, finish making uh, the, the workbench here. <coughs> um, so... We have a workbench now, and then I had enough uh, mechanical parts left over to make another wrench. Uh, so now we have a hammer, a pick, and a wrench. I need to make a shovel for what I have planned for Horde Night. So we need to go get more iron. That's the first thing we're going to do uh, in the episode today. And let's see, what else was I going to say to <coughs> to you guys? Sorry, I got a, I got a little something-something in my throat here. <coughs> um, so... Yeah, we. Uh, I'm. I'm gonna go grab some iron. I was gonna say something else to you guys, and I can't remember what it was. But anyway, uh, whatever. Let's uh, continue on here. <clears throat> I do appreciate uh, everybody's uh, kind comments uh, regarding my wife being in the hospital with the knee surgery. She's doing very well, and uh, actually is planning on. Uh, we're planning on bringing her home tomorrow morning. Uh, so. She sent me home tonight because she just needs to rest, and so here I am, and uh, getting trying to get another video recorded. So, anyway, I appreciate everybody's, uh, like I said, kind comments and, and remarks on that. All right, well, anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, so, I do have an iron slash nitrate mine over this way. There might be something closer to the house, but I haven't found it, so I'm just going to go to where I know there is some. And um, we just need to get enough iron to make ourselves a shovel. I'm not going to spend a ton of time mining iron, but, uh, yeah, we just need to get ourselves a shovel. So we'll work on that first, and then I'm going to kind of do a little bit of thinking about... I, I have a, a general plan in mind for what I'm going to do for the hard base. I'm going to need to kind of figure out where it's going to be, and then at that point, um, I will let you guys know what the plan is, and we'll kind of get started with it. I'm going to build it from scratch, only because... In doing so, we will get lots of XP. We don't have to mess around with, you know, sleeper spawns or anything like that. And we can, <coughs> excuse me, build the uh, Horde Base 2 spec. So that is the plan, Stan. That's the plan. Just making sure there's no Zika Roos around here. Wouldn't mind bagging uh, some more game. If we could come across a deer, chicken, turkey, whatever, uh, that would be good, too. Uh, but let's head over to the, the mine here that I got started on. And get ourselves some more iron. Like I said, I'm not going to spend a ton of time mining iron, but just enough so we can get ourselves a shovel made up. Oh, shit, there's fat guy. Didn't even see him. All right, we're going to try and avoid getting hit by him as much as possible. I do want to get a bleed on him, though, so let's risk getting in there just to get a bleed going on him. And then we'll use arrows on him. Oh, how in the hell did that miss? There he goes. Oh, nope, never mind. Now he's dead. <laughs> okay, got to got him taken care of. Let's go right on over here. Make sure there's nobody else around. And this is where we started the mine. Man, <clears throat> it is really stuttering on the screen right now. Um, all right, so let's see. This is actually this is the nitrate. Iron mine. Oh, and that's just an iron iron mine. All right. Well, you know what? I don't mind getting a little bit of nitrate too. So let's just start working on both of those things. 
And so, yeah, guys, I'm just going to basically mine for, I don't know, a couple hours, maybe a couple in-game hours. You know what I didn't do is I didn't bring my coffee. Darn it. Well, we did bring this anyways. And then, uh, you know, once I feel like I have a decent amount, I will meet you guys back at the house and we will proceed from there. All right, guys, we are back from mining and we got a Steve right here at the house. Let's deal with him. There we go. Oh, took his head right off. Look at that. <laughs> uh, do you have any arrows for us, Steve? Yeah, right there. Okay. Okay, so we got a pretty decent amount of iron, a little bit of nitrate. I basically um, mined until my pick broke because I didn't have a repair, pit, uh, repair kit with me. So we definitely should have enough iron to do what we need to do. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw this little bit of clay in here. And then, yeah, I got 2,100 things of iron. And let's put that much wood in there. And Oh, you know what? Actually, I already got a bunch of forged iron. I forgot about that. Okay, well, we'll make more. That's enough for us to do our shovel right now then, which is great. Uh, so let's see, we need some leather and duct tape as well. Leather and duct tape. We're going to need to make more duct tape. I think what I want to do is let's keep, say, 10 of these glues as glue because we do need those for, like, pipe weapons and stuff. And then what we'll do is turn the rest into duct tape. Take that first piece. There we go. And now we can get the shovel cooking up. Got a couple of inventory management items to take care of here, so let me get that done. And then we're going to go scout out our location for our base. Put those back in there for now. Um, I'm actually going to grab all of this clay too, because we're going to be doing some digging, and that's going to get us some more clay. I got another point while I was mining, and I put that point into leaky gut to help reduce our food and water consumption. Uh, so that's where that point went, and let's see. We've got... I didn't find any game while he was out there, so I think our best bet's just going to be... Uh, we can make some corn on the cob and some boiled meat. So let's grab some water out of here. We will put... A little bit of wood in here, and let's make boiled meat and corn on the cob. Corn's going to be easy enough to find, so when the time comes for us to plant the garden, I'm sure we won't have any trouble finding it. Hopefully I don't eat those words later on. Okay, so between the corn on the cob and the boiled meat, we should get our food pretty much all the way back up to where it needs to be. We got eight red teas there. I'm going to hold off on drinking those until we eat the food so it can help us uh, preserve the food a little bit more. And I think we're pretty much good to go. Let's grab, we should have a repair kit in here. Do we have a repair kit in here? Yeah, we do. Uh, so let's fix our pick here. In fact, I'm gonna just take all of these with me because I'm gonna need those for the shovel. We no longer need a stone shovel, so we might as well scrap that. Uh, I wanna make a fire ax too, of course, but uh, that's not quite a high pr highest priority right now. So we're basically just kind of waiting on the food, and then once the food's done, I will meet you guys outside where we will decide where our horde base for Horde 7 is going to be, and maybe probably the first few hordes. Okay, our food is done. Let's grab the boiled meat. Um, we're going to need to probably eat all four of these, and then we'll use the corn to top off whatever's left. Let's drink a red tea, and we'll put the corn down there. Okay, time to go. Time to go. Let me look at this for a second here. Okay, so you're still working on clay and iron. Good. Okay, so. Horde base. What are we going to do? We got a spider and a jiggly over there. So I don't think I want to mess with them right now. What we could do is go out to this field here. Not seeing anything. 
and maybe just build in this field. So we're far enough away from the house there that when, it, when the horde does spawn in, it shouldn't spawn into the house. Well, it could. Maybe we better get a little further away. Um, how about if we use this location? Yeah, I think this location's as good as any. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to, if you guys watched my Ravenhurst series, we're going to do something similar to that. And the reason I'm going to do it is because, A, I want to find out if that design still works in Alpha 20. Because if it does, it's a really good, pretty simple, but very effective design. All right, so let's start off by, uh, I think I'm going to probably need to polish almost all of these corns. These give us 10 food, though. They, they actually buff these. For some reason they take water away, which I'm not sure I completely agree with that because there is some moisture in corn, but uh, I'll take the extra food though. So let's leave two of those. And what we want to do first is let's clear the desired resources, chrysanthemum and the cotton specifically out of the way first. Don't really care too much about the grass or any of that. Plus we're going to get a bunch of that from digging anyway. Looks like we have military sleepies over there. I don't want to mess with them guys. Let's drop that stuff. Okay, so back to here. Um, now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab some frames. And we're going to kind of lay things out here. So, let's start with here. So, we're going to do this. Looks like we need to make some more frames. I don't have a ton of wood, but whoops. Uh, we should be able to make a few more. So let's go frame shapes. I can make 121. Let's make, say, 30 more. Okay. Put those there. Okay, so this is going to be a chamber that I am going to stand in. And I'm going to make it pretty small-ish to start with. But I might... Hmm. I'm making this up as I go, guys. I mean, I, I, I know the general idea, but not exactly how this is going to come together. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's five. I might want to go seven just to be on the safe side. And like I said, I'm going to make it really small to start with. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to even pick these up. <clears throat> and we're just going to make it like this. Okay. Um, now, so what we're going to do next is we want to put another block around this area. Wow, we already used all those? Okay. Well, we don't actually need these up here. We're just making, you know, the outline that I'm thinking of here. And we don't need the center ones in place right now either. We just want to finish this here. Good. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go two blocks this way. And then we're going to go two blocks this way. All right, now I want to... No, that's correct. Alright. 
see, we got six more. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. And I want to pull these back out here. Okay. All right. I think this is a good starting point. So let's put those, the shovel down here. And now it's time for us to dig out the outline of what we're doing here, which is going to actually start here. Okay, so we've got the outline dug. Um, what I'm going to do now is we're going to pick up all these blocks and we basically have to dig all of this out here down into a pit. I might do some digging on this too, but I want to wait on that because this is going to be like the more important part and I want to make sure I have enough resources to do it. Now we're going to have tons of clay. You know, we're getting tons of clay from doing this. And so, you know, we can turn most of that into cobblestone when the time comes. Uh, before we go any further, though, let's go back to the house for a moment. I want to I have I want to grab my coin because the trader has a couple of uh, cans of food we can buy because we're going to need that. All of this exertion is burning our calories. Okay, so that's going. <coughs> yeah, let's just keep making forged iron like crazy there. Uh, we probably better put a little more wood in there too, so... There we go. Okay, let's grab our coin. Which is here. And I also want to grab this stone and... Uh, actually, yeah, we, we can just use all of this clay. And let's start turning this into cobblestone. Grab that and put it back in here. Okay. Let's go see the trader, get a couple cans of food, and then resume our work here. Okay, so we have some pears and some salmon. Um, I don't think I'm going to buy any of the rest of that for now. Let's see what he actually has is has in his own inventory for sale. We have great prices. He charges an arm and leg and for our arm and leg. No. Nope. All right. So I'm going to down the salmon for now. I'll keep the peas and the carrots for later. Let's take another red tea and get back to digging. All right, guys, we are back, and it is almost nighttime. I have managed to dig uh, through the dirt and down to the first stone layer. I think I'm probably just going to take the first stone layer down for now. I'll probably dig this deeper later on, but for Horde Night 7, I think we'll be okay uh, just taking it down one level. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is head back home um, overnight and just, I don't know, do some stuff around the house, I guess. Maybe work on the mine underneath the house that I st just barely started. And then, uh, you know, at first light on day seven, we'll come back out here and continue uh, this project to make sure that we are ready for Horde Night 7. All right, so I will see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it is morning. Um, we have uh, a food problem. Um, so, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, I'm also out of wood. Uh, so what I'm going to do is grab these and uh, we'll keep these with us. And so we're going to go back to the trader first first thing and get... Uh, hopefully he's got, you know, some canned food for us in the vending machine. Where does Zombo walking around out here at night? And then uh, we're going to cut down a couple of trees just to get some wood. 
and then we'll resume our work on the horde base here. Change of plans. We're going to cut wood first and then go see the trader because trader's actually not open yet. Uh, so let's go this way. We don't want to get too close to that POI there. Let's drink some red tea too right now because that'll slow down our food loss. We had marked a, a vending machine in town here. Um, let's go. Let's go after that while we wait for the trader to open um, and see, you know, if we can get a decent amount of food. Oh, look at that. Nice. Okay, we're going to buy <clears throat> all of this stuff here. Uh, rock busters, golden raw tea. I don't think we need the rest of that, but we definitely need all of this stuff. All right, traders open. You have one can of dog food. Man, I'm glad we went and checked uh, at that other place. He might have reset. Let's take a look. Food. Oh, he has. Okay, good. So we're gonna buy that. Um, you know, we could we can actually eat animal fat too, but that's not very healthy for us. We could buy ten of these. Some cornmeal and some eggs. Alright. Thanks for shopping here. Come again. Good. Okay. <clears throat> that gets us in pretty good shape, actually. Let's eat the dog food and think we're gonna save the rest for later. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish digging out this final um, stone layer here. Then I'm going to run back to the house, grab all the cobblestone that we currently have, come back here, and then I'll bring you guys back at that point, and then we'll proceed with the build. All right, guys, we are back, and I got the first layer of stone dug out. So now what we're going to do is we're going to dig a ramp up this way. And so we're going to want to take this first block of stone out and then the rest should be dirt and we're gonna put um, actual ramps down here that will upgrade to cobblestone so let's grab the ramps and turn it this way and I think yeah I want that in uh, just like that grab our shovel and then start digging out this way All right, let's grab this and repair that and then lay these down. Great. Okay, let's run back to the house and grab some cobblestone and we'll proceed. All right, so we're back here. Uh, let's go ahead and get this upgraded. Excellent. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab these and we're going to go to center poles and we're going to put those right in the center, two over this way. Again, this should look familiar to any of you who watched the Ravenhurst series. I'm hoping it works the same um, you know, here in the new update. Okay, and then what we want to do is grab, I'm actually going to use plates for this, just so we have even more clearance. Uh, so let's do a advanced rotation. And we're going to go back this way. Like so. And I hope that uh, we don't run into any um, SI issues with this. Let's go back to normal blocks here. And 
And um, let's see, we're, we're one, two, three, four, five. So let's go here and put these in place like so. And then do the same thing on the other side. Let's get that upgraded too. Okay, um, then we're going to go back to plates again. And we're going to have to cut some more wood. I can see. Plates right here. Okay, copy shape. Um, Copy rotation. Actually, is what we want. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That went a little too far back, didn't it? Okay, this should still work, but what we're going to do is we're going to need to go on face here. Let's get these upgraded, and then we'll rebuild all of this again. Kind of sucks that we lost that cobblestone, but... We got lots of cobblestone, so not too worried about it. All right, now what we should be able to do is get this back to its initial rotation like this and get it. Doesn't quite want to go up like that. So let's go up here. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to make some more frame shapes. Let's make, I don't know, 50. Okay, let's turn these into just normal frames. Now we should be able to put those there. And put this on top. Like that. And then, so what should be happening here is the edge of that should be supported by that. There we go. Okay, that's what I was expecting to, to have happen. Got a skill point, and it's also noon, so we gotta, we got to hustle things up here. Okay, now let's take two of these and turn them back into our poles, our pole centered. Lots of interesting shapes here that half side centered. Huh. Um, to play with, but let's just go with what we know works for now. Okay, we're out of wood and we're hungry. So let's eat both of these cans of food and go grab some more wood. I probably should just do the rest of this out of flagstone. I wanted to do it do it out of wood because we get a few more um cobbles. Oh. Oh, does that just make a straight up cobblestone block now? Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, let's make, say, a hundred of those. But we still have some wood that we need to use up, too. So let's make use of that as well. Good. Now, I think what I want to do is the same idea... 
but over here just to provide um, again some more support so we should be able to put a couple of those into plates yep plates and then do a copy rotation put a plate there uh, rotate it and put a plate there okay so that gives us a support on the corners too Okay, good. Now, uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to... How much wood do I have? 199. Yeah, let's take these. Keep working with these a little bit more. Well, actually, you know what? No, let's not. Let's just work with these straight up just, say, just to save us a little time. Okay, um, again, we want to go to plates. And the hit points on the plates should be the same as the main blocks. Yeah, 1,500. Okay, so we're good. Just wanted to confirm that that hadn't changed. Now what we want to do is we want to go to um, advanced rotation and do this. Okay. And then... Let's turn it this way. Oh, you know what? I screwed that up. I actually want to do this. Is there something smaller that we could use there? Maybe this thing? Oh, that's like a really skinny little thingamadoodle. Interesting. Hmm. Here, let's look at those shapes again. Yeah, see, those are... Those are cylindrical, which is cool, but kind of not what I'm looking for. Alright, well, you know what? Let's just stick with what what we have here, because um, we're running out of time here. So, copy rotation. There. Now we can do this. And I want to... Can I actually put these like this? Oh, I can. Okay, because of that plate down there. Okay, good. We're good. We're good. Well, we're not going to do that. Oh, be able to do that over here, though. We can do it here. Um, but on this side, we're either going to have to put more plates down. Ah, uh, you know, maybe we should, though, just because it's just going to make this whole thing a little stronger. I was planning on doing that anyway, so... Let's just fill that in on both sides here. And then uh, grab our plates. Copy rotation. Same thing here. Copy rotation. There. Now we can... Fill in the walls here. Why is that red or pink? Is that trying to tell us something? Okay, copy rotation. Oh, that's what it was trying to tell us. Oh. <laughs> and it killed us, too. Oh, no. Wow. Okay. That sucks. 
that really kind of sucks. Especially since we're kind of running out of time here now. Son of a bitch. Alright. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Let's run back out here. Well, it's interesting that it shows you that the structural integrity is getting getting weak. Oh shit, it's gonna take a million years to clear all this crap out. So we're gonna have to rethink this, obviously. Okay, finally got all that crap cleared out of there. Um, we're gonna make this a little simpler. Let's do like another 50 of these. And I'm going to actually turn these back into just normal uh, blocks for now. And I'm going to run them along here to that point and like that. And then let's do the same thing here. I'm not going to try and hang everything off of plates this time. But we're going to still try and stick with the general idea. And I'm probably not going to, at least for Horde Night 7, hold it back as far as we were holding it back either. Um, you know, because this will get upgraded to, to concrete later on, and then it'll be, you know, have a little more SI to it once that happens. Okay, yeah, so let's just work with this. Um, we can still make the fluorine plates though so let's go back to our centered poles once again to there and we still want to <clears throat> excuse me do plates along the top row okay so let's do um, an on face I'm not going to I actually use that last one for now. We're just going to leave it as is. Now, um, for the front, we're still going to do the plate thing in the front. Ultimately, I want this to be three high, but we might just go too high for Horde Knight 7 again just to kind of keep the the weight down. Okay, we got an Arlene over there. Let's actually let's try something. Let's see if she'll come across the pathway. She does. Okay, good. Alright. Well that's good. That's actually really good because now we know they'll they'll still path across this. So we got a little thumped thumped for that our trouble, but it was it was definitely worth it. Okay, good. <clears throat> Now, let's turn this like so. Oh, it's turning. Why is it? Oh, I think it's just red there because Arlene's there. Okay, it's still white over here. So once she disappears, she we should be okay. Okay, good. That made me a little nervous there, seeing that red. Good. Okay, so everything is still showing white on here. Um, now, the next thing we want to do is let's get our our usual bars in place, but we're going to have to do this in such a way that the crawlers can't get through. So, i got to think about this for a minute. If we put one of these on the floor... Like so. All right, and then we do another one here. That should, in theory, stop crawly crawlies from getting through. I think. Let's go over here. Now I want you to be doubled up. Um, I don't know if I... I don't think I want the bottom one to be doubled up, though. Alright.
Here, let's get rid of this. We're gonna do we're gonna do a back thing here, and we're gonna put a door in. Uh, so I guess we'll do that next. So we want to go back to plates again, and this one's gonna have to be an advanced rotation. It's gotta come the other way. Yeah, this way. Oh, right. So that means we're going to need to be putting plates on this side, too. And do the same thing we did on this end. Hmm. Well, okay. I suppose what we could do is put plates here, too, because then it gives... Uh, no, it doesn't give it a support. So that, that didn't do a damn thing for us. <laughs> Um, what if we, I, I realize our time is getting uh, really tight here. What if we went to these things? And put those in the corner. Yeah. Because what that's going to do is that's going to then actually going to provide support for those things hanging down. I think for Horde Knight 7, I'm just going to uh, create a bridge, a frame bridge, and pull them up behind me kind of thing. And we'll come up with a more eloquent way to get into the base uh, later. Excellent. All right, let's build ourselves a door. Uh, yeah, we might as well make it an iron door since we have the forged iron. And while that's doing its thing, uh, we also want to make some wooden bars. Can we no longer make wooden bars? Ooh, interesting. Or wait a minute. Do we just do it from here? Bars. Letters, design... Deco, construction, destruction, windows, trim. Man, there are so many cool... Oh, here we go. So many cool things to play with here. Okay, so we want bars. And we want those to be rotated so they're flat. I want these to go this way. Not for any actual real important reason. I just do. This is lower than I want it, but again, um, until we can upgrade this to concrete, I don't want to add any more to this than we absolutely need to. I don't think we'll get buzzards on Horde 7, but if we do, we'll be able to deal with them. Oh, wow, they upgrade to cobble now instead of to iron. How interesting. Then do they go to iron? Yep. Oh, no, they go to concrete. Oh, nuts. I didn't want to use my concrete on that. I want to use the concrete on these. Okay. Okay. It gives us 22 concrete left for repairs. <laughs> Shoot, that's too bad. But I I was planning on it going to iron because, you know, that's usually how it works. But apparently it's not how it works anymore. All right, let's grab our door. And we're going to put the door right there. Let's get it upgraded. Excellent. All right, you guys. I think um, this is about as good as it's going to get. We have to kind of jump up and then scooch in there. And I'll, like I said, I'll just pull those blocks up behind me when the time comes. All right. Is there anything else I want to work on while well, we have a little time left? 
I do need to go back to the base first and get a couple more things. So let's do that right now while the doing's good. Okay, so the plan for tonight is that we're going to use, um, let's just put these back to normal blocks. Uh, we're going to primarily use our knife and our bow. I don't have enough ammo. I mean, we have a decent amount of 9 mil ammo, but I don't really have enough ammo to use our, um, our guns as our main weapon. Um, so I want to make sure that I have... Uh, repair kits so we're gonna need let's grab six more duct tape and we should be able to make those straight up so we can keep our knife repaired uh, this just needs to be repaired with wood we might as well repair it right now let's grab um, all the arrows and feathers that we currently have and turn those into more iron arrows And I'm gonna put a couple things back here. Do I have anything going on in here? Nothing in there, okay. All right, let's put that in there. We wanna keep this remaining cobble uh, with us for repairs. We got a little bit of concrete for our bars, not as much as I'd like to have. Uh, we'll keep a little bit of iron uh, with us to repair our door. And uh, I guess we could make some more cobblestone. Oh, yeah, let's get some more of that going too. And then that stone can go in there. Okay, so by the time uh, we make the rest of our arrows, we'll have plenty of arrows. I do have some molotovs, but it's going to be really dangerous using molotovs inside of um, that little area. So I probably will not be using those. The one thing we do not have, unfortunately, is any bandages. Do I have any aloe cream in here? I've got two aloe cream. That's it. We could make two bandages with that if we take a point in position, which we can't do because we don't have intellect level three. All right, so much for that idea. Well, we're just going to have to not get hurt. <laughs> I like that's going to happen. Uh, we do have one more point available. I think what we'll do with that is let's just crank. We're going to get sexy T all the way up anyway, so let's just put it in there. That'll give us a little more stamina on Horde Knight. In addition to that, we are going to take these two coffees, and we've got all of these red teas. Let's eat some food right now. So I'm going to eat two boiled eggs. And how... So, okay, so we get ten food from these, but it does take away five water. Not that that's a problem for us, because uh, we're pretty good on hydration. I'm going to take a couple of corn on the cobs, and then we'll leave the rest of that for later. And that should get our food up. Nice. Nicely. Okay. All right, you guys. I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to go. we got about an hour and a half, in-game hour and a half. Um, and, you know, I have no way to escape from this place if things go south on us. So if they go south, um, you know, we die and spawn in our house and hunker down. <laughs> That's really about all we can do. And hopefully, you know, the house will hold up for the rest of the horde night but i think we'll be okay i'm not anticipating that this won't work and it was good you know that we were able to see the test with arlene earlier you know where she she where she showed us that there's all those will path uh one thing i might want to do here is let's um just put a block here we want to make sure that this pathway does not get ruined because it's pretty important for the design of this as long as the zeeks can get back up they they generally won't go to great lengths to try and you know tear out the walls down below as long as they can get back up here because this is gonna they're gonna see this as the path of least resistance to us so um i'd like to Maybe, uh, you know, reinforce this a little bit here, too, a little more. Again, this is just the start of, of this base. If it works, uh, we will continue improving on it and building on it for each subsequent Horde Knight, making it better and better. Uh, we're 
making plenty of those, so let's make uh, two more cobblest uh, cobblestone shapes. I love that we don't have to make flagstone anymore and then upgrade it. That's really nice. One less thing to do. On the other hand, upgrading the bars is quite a bit more involved. Not that I have anything against that. It seems logical that it should be that way. So, yeah, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. If I had a little more concrete, I'd like to get those upgraded concrete too, but we don't. So, I'm just hoping, you know, nothing's going to be able to crawl through those holes. If they can, then we're in trouble. That's all there is to it. <laughs> we're in big trouble if they can crawl through those holes, but I don't know uh, what else I can do about it about that so all right let's pull these up behind us and blip uh that was not what i wanted to do can we jump this Woo. Uh, <laughs> okay it's a good thing nothing's chasing us huh not yet anyway okay and then we jump up and then in there we go <laughs> <laughs> Again, like I said, not the most eloquent way to get in here, but it works for now. All right, you guys, that is it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed our horde base preparation episode. And of course, in the next episode, we're going to do Horde 7. Wish me luck, and I'll see you in that episode. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll see you on Horde Night 7. Bye-bye.